This is literally the third time I've tried to make this video. Uh, first time I accidentally dialed open my aperture in the car right before I hit record. It was brighter than the... Um... Crap, what was it called? Ended up brighter than the Rivendale scene from Lord of the Rings. So that was cool. <laughs> At the end of the day, I delayed this because um, apparently a lot of my viewers just don't really care about fasting. But because I think fasting and understanding um, ketosis, glycolysis, when there's so much misinformation out there is really important. So I will still do videos about this, but I'm going to break it up in between other videos I'm doing. And today, just give you the results. So as the title says, I fasted for an entire week with pretty much no serious fasting, ketosis, or fat adaptation beforehand. I mean, I thought I had done a little, but clearly not enough. So let me get into why that is the biggest thing that I learned, the importance of fat adaptation, and what I would do differently if I were you. Okay, but, but first results, let's keep this simple. I went from, normally I'm at around 165-ish, but by the time I measured myself, I was a lot lower. I think because I'd already reduced carbs and lost a lot of the water weight that happens when you go on a low-carb diet, minus the Taco Bell splurge. Anyway, by the time I measured my weight, I was at 157, which is way low for me already. And then during the fast, I went down to 147. So I lost 10 pounds from the time I measured myself near the start of the official fast. My body fat percentage went from 15% to 12%, so that was pretty cool. I mean, I don't even think I was in ketosis until the last couple days because my body was trying so hard with the stored glycogen, the gluconeogenesis, which is basically your body saying, hey, I can't utilize fat well enough to meet your caloric needs, especially when you're jumping around on Ninja Warrior courses. We're not fat adapted, so I'm going to take anything I can, like protein, and turn it into glucose. That's what gluconeogenesis is. Gluco meaning glucose, neo, new, genesis, creation. Pretty simple. Case in point, my lean body mass went from 133 pounds to 130, so that is three pounds of lean mass loss. And if you're not fat adapted and you just jump into a week-long fast, you can expect similar results. You will lose a little more muscle mass than someone who's smart about it. I'll just say not me because I'm very smart. Visual results, not too shabby. I mean, I'm not a bodybuilder. If you don't watch my videos, you should know that I'm a big believer in holistic functional fitness and overall health. I'm not huge into bodybuilding or getting huge. Like, I just don't really care. I think it's much more important to focus on overall fitness and health, agility, ability, a sustainable lifestyle change to keep people actually healthy. And what I would do differently if I were you, if you're interested in fasting or intermittent fasting and all the benefits that come with that, or you just want to do it for weight loss, uh, I would do it very differently. First, I would do a mix of intermittent fasting, a mostly low carb, maybe even ketogenic diet, and occasional two, like 48 hour fast. You know, there's no need for a week long fast, except for in rare circumstances. If you're really trying to lose weight and you're very fat adapted, you can do that. But for the most part, I don't think it's necessarily, and you definitely shouldn't just jump into it like I did. If you're using fasting for those reasons, you're probably not that fat adapted in the first place. So what do I mean by fat adapted? Or as my brother calls it, fat adapted. And that's a simple way of referring to whether your body generally uses glycolysis or the metabolic pathway of burning glucose or ketosis, the metabolic pathway of burning fat for energy as your primary energy source. So fat adaptation is simply the process of your body switching over to using ketosis as the main method of providing your body with energy. Your body may not be able to fully utilize them correctly because you're not fat adapted and you really don't have enough of the enzymes needed to supply your energy demands. Your body's just, it's not ready for that. You can think of it like glycolysis being your refrigerator and ketosis being your basement freezer. You can go to the basement freezer to get energy, but it takes a lot longer. You gotta walk all the way down there. You gotta thaw out the food, warm it up, versus, oh, I'm just gonna grab something out of the fridge. Becoming fat adapted is the process of slowly switching those roles to the point where your body can actually prefer to burn fat before, I mean, 
that can take forever. That's like the highest level of fat ad adaptation is where your body actually prefers to burn fat for energy. The time there's enough space in between meals that it's looking for energy elsewhere, it goes straight into your fat stores. That's awesome. Whereas moderate fat adaptation can come within a few weeks or months depending on what method you're using, fasting, intermittent fasting, or keep the ketogenic diet. So that's, and really that's all I wanna talk about today was give you my results and let you know, hey, don't jump into a week long fast. Um, you're probably not fat adapted. Take it slow, do your own research. And I decided to save talking about things like some of these awesome fasting benefits. Uh, more in depth in a later video down the road in between other videos so that, the, so my followers that don't really care about fasting don't just get overloaded with fasting videos and I still cover these things that I think are extremely important. So coming up, I've got a gun disarm Krav Maga video. I've got Ninja Warrior tips for overcoming obstacles from a Ninja Warrior veteran. Thanks again for watching. It's been real, it's been fun, it's been awesome, and I will see you in the next video. That's right, I'm looking at you, dude. Hey, get some freaking sleep, you idiot. Oh, that's cute. You thought the video was over. Oh. Well, let me just go over a couple things real quick, like how to break your fast. So, at the end, if it's been more than a few days of fasting, you don't want to jump right back into processed crap food. I mean, you shouldn't anyway, but you want to break your fast, take it easy on your digestive system with natural fatty foods. So I cooked some eggs, some avocado, and I, maybe I was pushing it with the sausage, but that seemed okay. And let me tell you, biting into that avocado after a week of not eating was crazy. My eyes were opened. I finally understood why they call avocado a fruit. What are all these new flavors? It's like 50 shades of green. The funny thing is I wasn't really hungry. I just wanted to eat because, you know, it's been a while. But it took me most of the fast to reach that point. So that's the main thing I'm trying to get across in this video. Fasting's great. And while there's mountains of evidence supporting that it is a beneficial part of the cycle between feasting and fasting, I also think that a lot of the fasting myths are based on those people who aren't fat adapted, who are following the Western diet of being a vegetating, carb and sugar eating, Netflix binging machine, uh, yeah, your body's not ready for it, but the same way, if you go do a triathlon with no training, your body's not ready for that either. It doesn't mean that exercise is unhealthy, it just means that it's something you have to work yourself into. So I really hope that this video helped inspire you to do your own research on how you might incorporate fasting or inter intermittent fasting, or even just eating less often, because we really weren't meant to be eating all the time. There is a lot of energy your body uses on digestion and processes it's not even getting to if you're always snacking. So thank you, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. fasted even a couple more days I would have been shedding fat like the snake sheds his skin because you know that's an that's an analogy that people use you know it's, trust me